In this video, we'll go through exam questions that cover the criteria read, write, and understand thirds, quarters, fifths, and tens, including equivalent forms. You can locate the questions on the massmath.com website under entry 3. The questions come from different exam boards. We'll start with the non calculated questions and then we'll move to the calculated questions. Here is the first question Alex has just finished year 11 at Canford School. Eight tenths of the year 11 students are going to college in September. Complete the fraction to show another way of writing eight tenths. So we have eight tenths. And that's been changed to something, a number over five. So what's happened? to this number at the bottom, to the denominator. It's been halved, so from 10 it's gone to 5. So we'll do the same to the top number. What's half of 8? That is 4. So 4 fifths is another way of writing 8 tenths. Yesterday Amy made a cake. She cut the cake into 8 pieces and sold 2 pieces. Six pieces were left over. Complete the fraction to show how much of the cake was left over. So, as you can see, the cake has been split into eight pieces. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two of them were sold, so we have six eights left. But we've got to write our answer as quarters. If we split the cake into four parts, into quarters, then what is left is one, two, three quarters. If I just write it as six eighths here as well, you can see that 8 has been halved and 6 has been halved as well. From now on we can use a calculator. Ria and her friends want to rent a flat with parking. In their town, 3 of the 15 flats have parking. Which fraction is equal to 3 fifteenths? Tick the correct answer. So to find an equal fraction, which is what we've done in the previous two questions, we need to multiply the top and the bottom number by the same number or divide the top and the bottom number by the same number. In the previous two questions we halved, so we divided both the top and the bottom number by 2. Let's see whether we multiply or divide here. So we've got 3 fifths we can see that 15 has been divided by 3 to get 5. But 3 hasn't been divided by 3 to get 1. If it was 1 fifth, that would have been equal to 3 fifteenths. And as you can see, that's actually the third option here. So we know now that this is equal to 3 fifteenths. Let's have a look at the second one, just to rule out any other option. That might be correct. So we've got 15, so the top number has been multiplied by 5, 3 times 5 to get 15, but 15 times 5, does that give us 100? Let's have a look. It doesn't, it's 75, so second option is not correct. What about the final one? So to get from 3 to 1, we divide by 3. So if we divide 15 by 3, we get 5. So that's not correct either. So the only correct option is 1 fifth. Brett designs a page in a newspaper. The page has a length of 36 centimeters. An advert will take one third of the length of the page. 
Brett says the advert needs to be 10 centimeters in length. Is Brett correct? Show why you think this. So one third, that looks like this. So if the page has a length of 36 centimeters, one third will be 36 divided by three. So 36 divided by three gives us 12, not 10. So is Brett correct? We're gonna say no. Daniel eats a quarter of the sweets. So Daniel has some sweets and he eats a quarter of them. What fraction of the sweets are left? So a quarter, we can represent like this. So if he eat one quarter, what's left is one, two, three quarters. So three out of the four pieces. Six out of ten bags have been loaded onto the plane. What fraction of the bags have been loaded onto the plane? So six out of ten, which is six tenths. We've got to write the fraction with the denominator of five. So what's happened? We've halved the ten, so we need to halve the six as well. So that's three-fifths. Alfie needs some medicine. Carly gives him one-fifth of the tablets in this pack. Tick, one-fifth of the tablets. So one-fifth is one out of five. So we've got ten tablets all together. That will be two out of ten. As you can see, one fifth, and when you have ten tablets, that's going to be two of them. So we've doubled the five, so we're going to double the one as well. So you could also see them as having two rows of five each. So one out of the five, and another one out of the other five. So that's two tablets any of the two tablets anywhere doesn't need to be those two tablets that i ticked now this is the seating plan of their carriage so somebody is going somewhere and this is the seating plan of their carriage one tenth of the seats are empty tick one tenth of the seats so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 20 seats. So we need to tick one tenth. But we've got 20 seats. So we've doubled the 10. We need to double the 1 as well, which gives us 2. So one seat and another seat. So two seeds ticked, any two seeds ticked. The man wants to know if it's cheaper to go to the airport by train or by car. So a man is going somewhere, he's going to the airport and he wants to know whether it's cheaper to go to the airport by train or by car. A return train ticket to the airport is £93. There is one third off the price when the ticket is bought in advance. What will the price of the ticket be if he buys it in advance? Show you working out. So it says one third off. One third is one out of three equal parts. So 93 is the whole thing. So we're going to divide 93 by three. Give us the answer. 93 divided by 3 gives us 31. 
So that's £31 off. So we need to take away the 31 from the 93 to work out the price. Because £31 is just the discount. So 93 take away 31 gives us £62. What fraction of this shape is shaded? So it's one, two parts out of one, two, three, four, five. So two-fifths of the shape is shaded. A club plans to hold a barbecue for 300 people. She allows two sausages for each person, the person organising the barbecue. A club member needs to order the rolls and sausages. She needs to order one long roll for each sausage. The rolls are sold in packs of 36. How many packs of rolls must you order? So you're working out. So two sausages for each person. And there are 300 people. So that's going to be 600 sausages. And it says one long roll for each sausage. So that's going to be 600 long rolls. They are sold in packs of 36, so we're going to do 600 divided by 36 to work out how many packs. So 600 divided by 36 gives us 16.66 and so on. Now we can't write 16 packs because there wouldn't be enough. We need more than 16. It's less than 17. But that's what we're going to write because we have no other option but order a bit more. A bit more is absolutely fine. So we just need to round this up to 17. 17 packs of rolls. And this links to the next question, the next part of the question. She needs to order the sausages. One tenth of the number of sausages need to be vegetarian. How many vegetarian sausages will she order? I'll show you working out. So we said there were 600 sausages that needed ordering. So one tenth of 600 we need to work out. How does one tenth look like? So equal parts supposedly, although my drawing isn't perfect. So one out of the 10. So we're going to divide 600 by 10 to get one tenth. And that is 60. So 60 vegetarian sausages. A customer buys a bed, bed price 880 pounds. She must pay a quarter of the price today. She will pay the rest when the bed is delivered. How much will the customer pay today? Show you working out. So it's a quarter of the price. So we're going to divide the whole price by four. So 880 divided by four. Which is 220 pounds. A farmer needs to rent a tractor and a trailer at harvest time. She needs to rent a tractor and trailer for 12 weeks and wants to hire the cheapest one. So we've got three options A, B and C. Cost to rent £75 for tractor and trailer A. Time per week. So she needs it for 12 weeks. So what we're going to do is multiply 75 by 12. 
So 75 times 12 gives us 900 pounds. And then we've got B, which is 1,000 pounds for 12 weeks. So we don't need to do any calculation with that. And then C, 920 pounds for 12 weeks. Again, no calculation needed. So we're comparing 900 pounds, 1,000 pounds, and 920 pounds. She wants to hire the cheapest one. So which one is the cheapest? That is A, because it's only 900, not 920 or 1,000, which are higher. So that's A. And we're going to take A. And we've done the working out here at the top. And cost for 12 weeks, that is 900 pounds, because what we did was 75 times 12. She must pay one-fifth of the cost to rent the tractor and trailer today. She will pay the rest when she collects the tractor and trailer. What amount will she pay today? Show you working out. So one-fifth of the 900 pounds. So one fifth looks like this. So we're going to divide the 900 by 5. And that gives us 180 pounds. Hanif wants to buy some goggles. He chooses a pair of goggles that cost £8.80. He sees a special offer on this pair of goggles. Special offer, a quarter of the price of swimming goggles. Hanif thinks the goggles will cost £6. Is Hanif correct? Explain your answer. Show your workings. So a quarter, as we know, looks like this. So we're dividing £8.80. 80 pence by 4. Which gives us £2.20. So £8.80 take away £2.20. Gives us six pounds sixty. So he thinks that they will cost six pounds. Is he correct? We're going to say no, he's not correct. Or no, they cost more. And we've shown the working out. And this is the end of the questions.